your favorite subject. Okay, so we are going to be doing lesson 133. And this is continuing with our weights and measurements. And so we're going to be focusing on our measurement tools. Um, so let's do a little bit of review first. I wanna review uh, place values and greater than and less than. Um, so if you look at this number right here, 439. So what digit is in the hundreds place? The four, right? The four is in the hundreds place. <clears throat> All right, which number is in the tens place? Tens. The three. And then which one is in the ones place? The nine, right? Okay, so if I was going to write this in expanded form, I would write it as 400. Don't forget your two zeros, right? Because I don't have anything telling me that it's 100. If I just wrote four, that would be four, not 400. Plus, I need to put in my tens, which is 30. There's three tens, which equal 30. And then I'm going to be adding my ones, which is nine. 400 plus 300 plus nine equals 439. Right? Okay, let's look at this number here, 346. What number is in the ten or the hundreds place? The three. Which number is in the tens place? The four. And the ones place is six. Okay? Now let's look at this one. 264. Which one's in the ones place? The four. The tens place? the six, and the hundreds place, the two. Now let's look at this. We are going to look in the hundreds place. Is three bigger than two? Yeah. So that means 346 is going to be bigger than 264, right? So if I'm going to do a greater than or less than, which way does my mouth need to be? Does it need to be the alligator wants to eat more food, so he is going to open his mouth and have a 346 snack, right? 346 is greater than 264. Now, let's look at these numbers here. <clears throat> the four is in the hundreds place, the five is in the tens, and the two is in the ones. Now, 491, we have the hundreds place is the four, the tens place is the nine, and the one is in the ones place. Now let's look at this number. They both, in the hundreds place, have a four. Okay? So I can't tell yet if which one's bigger or which one's smaller. They both have a four. So I'm going to move back into the tens place, and I'm going to look at each number in the tens place. So I have a five and a nine. Now is one of those numbers bigger than the other? Yes. The nine is bigger than the five. So that tells me this number is bigger than this number. So when I draw my greater than sign, my alligator mouth needs to be eating the bigger number. 452 is less than 491. Is that true? Yes, it is. Okay. So just a little review about greater than and less than. And then also um, place value. So let's get into our lesson for today. We're going to be learning about identifying the correct measurement tools to measure length, capacity, and temperature. And I left my water bottle over there. All right. So love is not something that can be measured with a ruler, right? Uh, you can't pour it into a scale, into a cup. You can't weigh it. You can't measure it in length. And so we can say that God's love is the greatest love, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. And Romans 5, 8, which is, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. <clears throat> so God shows his love in great ways. So we are going to learn about how we can measure things here that God has provided for us. Okay. So I have a couple of different things 
and some of them are going to be a little more challenging. So this is called a balance scale, which oh, I was like, why is it not balancing? This is a balance scale. So if my hand was even and I wasn't moving, this wouldn't move either. Am I giving you the back side? I am. In the front, you'll see that it tells you if one side is more level than the other. Pretty sure this has been around since the Jurassic period, this one in particular. Okay, so this is one way. This will let me know which object is heavier than another. So if I was to put this here, this notepad is obviously heavier than nothing sitting over here. Okay, now that's one way to measure weight. Now to measure volume. So if I have a cup of something, I can pour it in here and discover how much volume, how much is in here, okay? Another way I can measure is by, whoop, by using a ruler. I can measure something or a tape measure. I can measure um, the length of something or the width or the height. And then another measurement tool is a temperature gauge, a thermometer. It can let me know how cold or how hot, what I need to wear for the day. Um, by the temperature. So if I was going to measure my cowbell, we all need a little more cowbell, would I use, if I'm looking for the length, would I use a pitcher? That doesn't tell me the length. How about would I use one of these scales? Does that tell me the length? No, nope. tells me how much it weighs. Now, if I was going to select a ruler to measure my cowbell, that would be the correct uh, measurement tool that I would wanna use in order for me to be able to measure what this is. Now, <clears throat> I can also determine um, the weight of an object. So if I was doing my cowbell and my pen, I have these two. I could use my scale to determine that. Let's see if I can lift it without dropping it. So clearly the cowbell weighs more than the pen, right? So when something is asking you to measure it, to tell the volume, to tell the weight, to tell how tall or high, you need to think about what tool would I use in order for me to um, answer that question. So when you do your math worksheets, um, you are going to draw lines to connect the right tool to the right thing that you're measuring. And then you're going to determine what's heavier and what's lighter. Remember the lighter thing is higher and the heavier thing is lower. Okay, and then at the end of your worksheet, you have um, the hundreds and you just tell me which one's greater and which one's less. And that is going to be it for lesson 33. Have fun.